is Jess and Queens in between. Thank you so, so much for joining us today at the official press conference for the Rhythm and Roll documentary, the first of the content series brought to you by Johnny Walker in collaboration with Vice Asia. My name is Demi Ted, and yes, like the number, and I am your three peak gold medalist of falling flat on her face on skates, and I am ready to be judged today. Today we are joined by the star of the documentary himself, James Reed, along with collaborators for this project, The Skate Bomb Girls. Yes, so bro catchy your name, I love it. So, before we begin our open forum, our Q&A portion, I just have a couple of reminders before we begin, okay? We are going to open the floor to questions from the press, but I would like to remind the press, please limit their questions to the Rhythm and Roll documentary and the collaboration between Johnny Walker, James Reed, and the Skate Bomb Girls. Violators will be prosecuted. Just kidding. No, we won't. We won't. I promise. We're really nice here. But please do limit it to that. So, to start our jam-packed evening, I would like to call on Dia Gio's Marketing Manager of Culture and Advocacy, Rilo Beltran Hinebe, to welcome us all tonight and share with us a few opening remarks. <laughs> and that uh, Ms. Rilda Brown will actually be joining us later in the evening. So if we could call on our stars of the documentary, just so that we could start our press program right away. Alright! No worries, no worries! Okay. Just a little bit of background for you guys, of course. The Walk Beyond Collab series by Johnny Walker features episodes highlighting creative collaborations across South Asia, Southeast Asia, that put a spotlight on street culture. So this new platform envisions bringing multi-hyphenates together to create bold acts that move local subcultures such as roller skating forward. We're very thrilled to have a chance to explore this space with James and the Skate Bomb Girls as we created the Rhythm and Roll documentary and explored the blend of these two different art forms. And this blend comes to life today as we have music, dance, roller skates all in one place as we celebrate. So I hope you guys are limbering up and preparing yourselves for that little skate demo we've got waiting for us just around the corner. These Walk Beyond collabs create a narrative for self-expression, authenticity, and progress that we believe will inspire and shape the future of street culture in Southeast Asia. We envisioned Rhythm and Roll to be the first of many acts that will embed Johnny Walker in culture and invite everyone to stay tuned as we create more bold and fresh collaborations soon. But we won't keep you waiting any longer. We showed it to you a little bit earlier and we'll show it to you later as well, just so it's fresh in your memory. But of course, we would like to call on some of the people that made it possible for today. We, I know you guys have many, many questions, so we will get to those in just a short few. So, to hear more about the collaboration from the perspective of the Skate Bomb Girls, let us call up Miss Steffi Lucero! Hi, hi, and she enters with flair and style. Of course, I'm really scared. I dig it. Okay. Hi hey everyone, so nice to meet you all. Thank you for celebrating Skate with us. Our community loves it. They have been smiling and their hearts have been so soft every time they watch this, so thank you so much. Okay, so to all the people that are just getting to know you for the first time, Steffi, I'm sure you're really, really proud of everything that was created in this whole process. But let's go back a little bit, okay, to give people a background of what you're all about and to all the people that are meeting you for the first time. Can you share with us, when did you start skating? Oh, that's a, that's a really fun question. I love answering. Thank you for that. Um, when it was pandemic season, uh, I was an extrovert, now an introvert, but I was so worried, okay, how do I make friends? How do I make friends in a lockdown? And then this online thing happened, everyone started communicating through the internet, and sakto, one of my hobbies that time that I poured myself into was roller skating. I thought, okay, you know what, I need to uh, be active since I'm not a gym person, I need to have a sport. So one thing that I found was roller skating, I can do it indoors. So we started posting videos online, 
And funny enough, when I did, the algorithm put together some videos too of local skaters and I was like, oh hi, that's, that's a great move. And later on, some of them I got surprised were Filipino, living in QC, living in Davao, all over the Philippines. And soon after, I found myself um, invited to one of the rollouts. Oh, that, that's what it's called. I thought I'd come rollout. Part of Transformers rollout. Okay. Eh, eh, eh. okay. Rollout. It sounds cool, but me also cute. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. So it's all about community, the right? It's like finding your superhero origin story, and that's when you started skating. But I'm interested. How did the Skate Bomb Girls come to be, and the name? Ang cute ng Skate Bomb Girls, the right? So really quickly, tell us how it came to be. All right. This, this one is a funny story. Because in one of those rollouts, uh, there were a group of people who were from the north who created this like this group chat. Hey guys, who's free today? I remember it was a holiday at the summer. And apparently there were only eight people who showed up to that specific rollout. And soon later, we became the Skate Mom Girls. I love it. That's so <laughs> cute. Right? It's so like, color. Pure. <laughs> so pure. Calling all like-minded people, right? Let's do this fun little thing. And I feel like we can't continue until we call out another very important member of this crew. I, I consider him to be the Beyonce of our showcase today, ah, right? Uh, I would agree. Can't confirm, right? So ladies, jets, and queens in between, let us welcome the man of the hour, James Reed. <laughs> Okay, we, we don't have enough seats, so let's switch to see you again. More skates. I know, I was like, can I do this? Well, yeah. So much as I would have worked mine as well. Oh, uh, will you later? I will later. Cool, that's, that's good. Can someone I, say Beyonce? Yeah, you are the Beyonce of our little girl group here. As you can see, we've all come prepared, dressed to the nines, and we're here to learn a thing or two about the Walk Beyond project. So James, tell us, how did it all come to be? Um... This whole collaboration came to me because of, of course, uh, Jeremy Walker um, they had an idea of super blend. So blending together two different subcultures. And I don't think people uh, understand how important this kind of collaboration really is for culture. I think artists like me um, should really focus on creating these kind of types of collaborations. I mean, giving a platform to different subcultures and highlighting the different unique aspects of Filipino culture, like the skate bomb girls, you know, I think um, it's very underrepresented. So honestly, it was a it was an honor to be able to work with them and create such a fun project with uh, Johnny Walker and Vice. Yeah, I could tell from watching the documentary. So we showed you guys um, the documentary a little bit earlier, and we'll show it to you again. I love how it's a combination of like street style music and the fun vibes that the skate bomb girls bring to the whole thing. So, really quickly, Steffi, before we let you go, can you both invite everyone to join in later on the skate activity? Oh yeah, I think, yeah, today we are bringing uh, Rhythm and Roll to Life. Yeah. So we've got, I believe, artists from Careless, am I right? Yes, yes. We have performances by some Careless artists later on. We have August Wa, we have Lisha, Saya, and also I'll be performing. So, yeah. catch you guys later, that's happening. And of course, we'll be roller skating upstairs, so yeah, we got please friends. come and join us. It's uh, it's not as hard as it looks. Oh guys, don't, don't be fooled. Uh, before it all started, we were all like, dude, we gotta create steps that are more for the upper body, because how is he gonna learn this in two weeks? Dude, he learns more moves than us, than he did in a year. So. Actually, the original plan wasn't to have roller skate. Just collaborate with the roller skating uh -huh. crew, but then... James likes the challenge! He does it! He does it all. He does it all. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you so much, Steffi. We'll talk to you in just a short bit. Thank, thank you, you so much for joining us. Alright, Kylie, let's take